for us, the, the general week, week in our offseason would be we're going to lift Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We're going to have our offseason program in the afternoon, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And on Friday, we actually go our off-season running program Friday morning. We go at 6 a.m. in the morning. So okay. we do that for a few reasons. There's a short turnaround between what we do on Thursday afternoon and Friday morning. Mm-hmm. And it's it's really challenging the way that it's set up and structured. Um, on Wednesday afternoon, we bring in a speaker, you know, to hit certain topics of we have a program that I started with our ops uh, person this year called Made for More. And it's basically building the toolbox for our players off the field. So we do things from financial literacy to psychological assessments to organizational leadership to mindset, inspiration, motivation type things. But it's all stuff where we try to put these relationships together where they may not use it now, but when they leave here, like they have certain things in their toolbox where they can reach back and say, well, we did this at Maryland. I can, I can. I can reach back to this financial advisor or accountant or Mm -hmm. a guy that owns that company over there. I I always have those relationships. Um, In terms of the performance, you know, we will be like going through this past year. um, We would be Monday would be more of a, so it's three day split total body in the weight room, but Monday would be more of a dynamic effort. um, And what we do in terms of emphasis, Wednesday would be more of our, um, velocity-based overhead work, like a a push jerk, push press, split jerk, something like that, a snatch, something of that nature to going into some of our single leg work um, and and having an upper body emphasis there. And then on Friday, Friday is, is going to be a, um, it's a total body day again with a heavy emphasis on the lower, the lower half. Okay. Again, physiologically, you're not going to find that in a textbook of like, so coach, you mean to tell me that they run at three o'clock on Thursday and they get done with a, a challenging run like on an on a RPE scale they would it would be up there what they did mm-hmm. on Thursday to say that they're going to come back 14 hours later do another run on Friday and then follow the run up with a with a total body lift that's a heavy lower body emphasis nope you're not going to find it in a, in a textbook um, but that piece of our off-season blueprint is what makes us who we are mm-hmm. like that's that's kind of our special sauce and you guys will appreciate this but I put this video out on Twitter of the group coming into the weight room on Friday morning and they're they're dancing they're going nuts and it was funny that some of the responses that I got about like they should be working because I never followed it up with with what they did so the next week (laughs) the next week I put the video up of them dancing and I followed it up with a thread of about 12 videos of (laughs) heavy cleans right. of heavy squats, you know, weighted pull-ups. And, and I said, mind you, we've already run eight station, four station this morning. And we did curves yesterday. And this is how the guys are finishing the, the week, but our players will talk about earning their weekend. You know, that special sauce at the end of the week is kind of how they earn their weekend and they, they, they earn the right to have that. So mm-hmm. that's kind of what our off season blueprint will look like. And then how we do it, how we attack what we do in the weight room changes a little bit every year. Um, at the end of every block, we quality control what we did. Mm-hmm. And so I always will have three measurable performance goals in there for us as a team, like we call them global goals. And then each of my guys is over a certain position group and they'll, they'll assign one performance goal for the position group. All right. And then from there, you start to look at individual needs and that's what guys will get outside of the eight hours allotted, you know, by the NCAA. But those performance metrics, we we quality control them at the end of every training block. So we talk about what went well, what didn't go as well as planned. What can we do better? We talk about where we are as a team, our strengths, our weaknesses, what we need to attack. Well, going into this offseason, we were really strong in our lower body. So it wasn't like we needed to have this huge emphasis on lower body work. And so we, what we did is our bigger emphasis was on uh, horizontal and vertical pressing, you know, which and then a, obviously a byproduct of that is what we did on the backside of the pressing. So um, that's kind of how we go about building the blocks and that's how we decide what goes in there. And then, you know, whether it's going to be uh, a kind of a, a standard rep scheme of following, you know, Providence table, or if it's going to be something where we're going to, we're going to be a little bit more 
you know, towards like what would be a West side metric maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, but we evaluate that differently every year. So we're not just cutting and pasting what we did from the previous year.